talking about someone that I have not really spoken about before. Yes, I have shared his videos, but today, the reason why I'm coming here today is because he has inspired me so much. Yes, I am talking about Muniwa Wood. Yes, I'm talking about Muniwa Wood, the hip-hop star of Zimbabwe. I think most of us, we know that when Muniwa comes out to speak, we always think like he's too pompous, you know, he's too proud of himself, you know, how he thinks he's so handsome and everything. And of course, we know that he's the eligible bachelor in Zimbabwe. Forgive me, I'm not sure if he's now taken, okay? So I'm just saying he's a bachelor because this is what I know from the last time I checked. Anyway, so now he shared that he is going to be opening a classy high-end boutique in Zimbabwe and let me tell you something you can see from uh, the you know the clip that I'm sharing on the side there is beautiful it's amazing you know everything is just so class you know sometimes you just want to go there and just sit and pretend like you want to buy something and yet you just want to see the the place is beautiful of course it's not yet open but he said it's going to be opening soon but all I want to say is if we if we now start looking looking at Mudiwa as someone who no vairaga, who no racist, who no sarira muzunzwa kawanda, you understand? Who no sarira muzunzwa kawanda. At least let's just look at Mudiwa as someone who is very inspirational. Okay, as someone who is very motivating. Like he pushes you. You know, you feel you feel challenged. With, if someone can do it, why can't I do it? Okay. And I know that a lot of people we don't really quite understand Mudiwa because sometimes I'm a vaira because I'm a marriage. But I think if also look at the positive side of what it does, encouraging others. Mudiwa is one person whereby he's always encouraging other people, motivating the young people to push. But this boutique right here, this one which is coming right here, this is like way, way far over the top. Even yourself when you enter there, I mean, can you expect to buy something for one dollar? I don't think so. <laughs> so really, I just wanted to share this with you guys that um, for... This time around, Mudiwa really did it. I know he has written some books and also, you know, shut up and make money. I think this is exactly what he's doing. He's shutting up people and say, hey, just shut up and make money and improve your life. So sometimes when we see him coming out, you know, showing off, however he shows off, we think like he's being, you know, too proud of himself. But I think it's also good for us to be encouraged. So for this one, Mudiwa, I think you have gone way over the top, okay? This is like amazing, okay? Now... For those of you who don't follow Mudua, you might go and follow his page. He's always, you know, bringing in all these motivational uh, videos. He's always encouraging young people. He's always doing a lot on his page that pushes other people to just feel like, but of course, he's many times misunderstood. About music, yes, he's into hip-hop music, gospel music, and a lot of people, they don't really, you know, quite feel the music. But anyway, it is what it is. But other than that, he's doing amazing as a young man in Zimbabwe, yes. All right, so right now, before I leave you guys, I just want you to listen to just one minute of this clip, okay? Only one minute, I promise. And then, while I'm playing for you, why don't you take this opportunity to subscribe and stay, all right? And also follow our pages on Instagram, Ziki Media, on Facebook, Ziki Media, and Ziki Official, all right? So just listen to this one. I want to shock some few people here. Zechariah 
1 verse 17. I can read from here if you if if, if you're still opening. Yeah, I'm still trying to share something on the on the net. Okay. But you can you can read it, yeah. Yeah. No, no problem. Now listen up, guys. In the book of Zechariah 1, verse 17, the Bible says that cry yet say. Thus says the Lord of hosts. This is God speaking to Zechariah. <laughs> Listen, the Bible says, God went to Zechariah and said, Zechariah, I need you to speak to my people. I need you to go and speak to my people. What is it that I'm going to say, O Lord? Zechariah 1 verse 17. Now listen. Cry yet saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, my cities through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad. And the Lord shall yet come forth Zion, and shall yet choose Jerusalem. God is saying, my city shall be spread abroad through what? Through what? No prosperity. Somebody even printed the verse say, I'm going to print the verse say. Hey, ah, this is what I like. Proclaim feather. Somebody said, proclaim feather. This is what the Lord Almighty says. This is now Zechariah. My towns will again overflow with prosperity. And the Lord will again comfort Zion and choose Jerusalem. This is what's going to make my city spread is prosperity. Remember, we read the book of Jeremiah 29 verse 11. And it actually says that for I know the thoughts that I have for you. There's another evil thought. God is willing to bless you. So most people believe and own a poverty. My brother, do you know that, my brother Kenan, do you know yes. that there are people who believe that God can only be found in a mountain? They believe that too. The only time they can be so close to God is when they go to a mountain that is not yeah. to a mountain that has no food, to a mountain okay. that they are actually using leaves to wipe themselves, to a mountain yes. that there is no electricity. That's when they mm. only feel that they are so close to God. Mm. 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 And yet the mm. Bible says that God is only science. Meaning yeah. it's what? That's right. Everywhere. Yes. It's everywhere. 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 You yeah. can worship God in a Lamborghini. Yes. You can worship God in a Rolls Royce. You can yes. worship God in a shack. You can worship God in a, in a mansion. That's so, right. end of the day, my brother, if you open the book of Zechariah 1 verse 17, God is shouting at Zechariah, saying, mm. The Lord died and is saying, My cities through prosperity shall be spread abroad. Mm. 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 That's, what, that's mm. what the Bible says. And, and funny mm. enough, my brother, I need mm. us to open uh, Luke 16, verse 9. The book of Luke 16, verse 9. Book of Luke 16, verse 9. The book of Luke 16, verse 9. Ah, uh, my brother, this is crazy. I'm going to share this, then you can come in. Verse 9. It says, and I tell you, make friends for yourselves by means of unrighteousness wealth, so that when it mm. is, when it fails, they may God. receive you into the internal dwelling. Now, another verse, verse says that I tell you, use worldly wealth to gain friends for yourselves, <laughs> so that when it is gone, you will be welcomed into eternal dwelling. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You know, is this the Bible that I'm reading? Is, is, is this true? My brother, this is what the Bible is saying. I tell you, this is what Luke is saying. Luke 16 verse 9. I tell yes. you, use worldly wealth to gain friends yes. for yourself. Yes. <laughs> My brother, God is saying, the world of the wicked is yours for the what? For the taking. But use it to gain friends for yourselves. So that when it is gone, you'll be welcomed into internal dwelling. Dwelling, that's right. <laughs> this time. <laughs> and then you say, you know what? 
that money is so evil. We don't like it. But God is giving an advice. Yeah. The Lord is giving an advice, my brother. Mm, 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 mm. This is what the Lord is saying. Use worldly wealth to gain friends. When they say unrighteous wealth, they are trying to talk about the worldly wealth. Yes, yes. To gain yes, friends. Cool. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. For yourself. Are we together? So that when it is gone, you will be welcomed into internal dwellings. Mm. You know, my brother, when I was reading this, I said about God. I don't understand this type of, you know, when we say that, my brother, we're going to meet, and I said, God, there are things that I need to address to your people. Shut up, about Jesus Christ. And, 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 and my brother, I know yeah. how God moves you. When I mm. saw you, when I saw God moving in your life in a different way, all right, guys, so this is Mubiwa Hood for you. So, like I said, he's always talking about prosperity, that man is not evil, okay? It is what you do that makes it evil, okay? You need to work, you need to have money to solve problems, all right? So he says, shut up and make money. So this is just a clip that I wanted to share with you of some of the things that Mudiwa says. So you may go and check out his page and see what I'm talking about. But for this classy boutique that is coming in there, well, this is a big inspiration. I'm telling you, it's amazing. My name is Ziki, and if you are new to the channel, take this opportunity, click, 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 and shut up and make money. All right? Bye-bye.